Hello and welcome back. So in the previous videos as you saw we have completed our environment and also we designed our mission area. Now in this video we will add the player to the game and also the player movement. So before the practical part let's understand the theoretical part on how we can add movement in Unity. So basically there are two ways to add movement in Unity. The first one is by using the character controller component and the second one is by using the rigid body component. And these both have their own advantages depending on what you want to do. Everyone wants uh, movement in their game but there are also gravity, jumping, drag, linear movement, steps, slops, crouching, sprinting and interacting with the physics objects. And some of these are built in in the character controller and some are in the rigid body. For example, in the character controller, by default we can handle steps, we can uh, handle the slopes, our player doesn't stuck on walls and you can say that it is easy to make snappy. And the rigid body has a built-in gravity, a built-in drag and it interacts with physics objects. So for this game we want player movement, we want to add gravity to our player, we want to check the surface checking, we want to check that if the player is on the surface or we can say on the ground, we will also add jumping, we will also add linear movement, steps and slopes and also we will make sure that our player doesn't stuck on walls and also we will make sure that our game will be neat in movement and in everything. Okay, it needs to be snappy and simple way to do all of this is by using the character controller component because most of the things are built in in the character controller component and then you can add many things as you want for example you can add crouching or whatever you want the only problem with the character controller component is that it doesn't interact with the physics objects and there are many ways to fix that by using scripts so now let's dig in and add our player and we will attach the, some cameras to our player so for adding our player let's minimize this and right here we have this PBR military pack I will simply click on this extract here and as you can see it is extracted now let's double click on it so as you can see it has opened up the Unity package and we will simply click on this and four. now in a minute it will be inside our game so just wait for it so here is our PBR military pack we have different hardware cars, rockets and shells we have the drone right here and we have the Soldiers, as you can see, we have different soldiers right here. Here is the other soldiers, and then we have the weapon and standard C. So, what we will do right here is to we'll simply open up this PBR soldiers U1 folder and we'll go inside the three parts, and as you can see. We have different types of soldiers, so we will select this soldier over this 45. Let's turn that through here. Let's click on this and back completely. And then we will create an empty game object. Let's name this as clear. Okay, and here is it. Oh, is it clear with the camera? Let me delete that. And let's go down. Let's create an empty game object right here. Now let's name this player 
40. Okay, so here is the clear. Okay, here is 40. So we have this in place. And we will see. Now let's add a camera to the scene and we will name this camera as main camera. Let's move this right here at the top. Okay, here is the camera. Okay, we will clear. Okay, now maybe we have not finished the play. Now let's play the game and see how does it looks. Okay, so our player is in the art of animation that we found because we didn't remove his animator. So as you can see, it looks good like that. Okay, now if we come right here, let's to do this, first, first of all, we need to add that right here. So we will say animator. Now let's click on body 5. And if you click on this, okay, we need to provide that right here in the editor. Or else it will not do the animations. Okay, now let's remove that. And now our controller will work just fine. Okay, we need to just provide our controller for this. But that is for the future. So now we have the player. Now let's pick some of the area right here. So what we will do, we want to pick this road, this one, that will do, that will do, and then this, this area as well. Okay, that will do. And let me take that area as well. So, what we will do, we will simply go inside this navigation, click on this bake. Let's make the step out height as 0 0.01. Okay. Now click on take and as you can see it is baked now. So now we have the player ready as you can see right here. In the next video we will allow the player to walk anywhere in the map. And we Pick that area for our enemies. We created a layer mesh around the walkable area, and in that area, we only want the enemies to walk. For example, you can just simply pick all of this map in order to walk the enemies anywhere in the map. Okay, but for now, we will focus on the player. In the next video, we will add more content to the player. So, for that, see you guys in the next video.